Alright, this is going to be a video um, showing you some of my May favorites. Sorry it's so late, been super busy, but I do want to show you some of my favorite products for the month of May, and it might even be some of my favorite products that I've ever found. I know one for sure, I'm super excited to show you. Okay, um, I'm going to start with this Rosebud Salve that I found. Um, I don't know how your Sephora is or how all Sephora's are, or if you're not able to get to a Sephora, but the Sephora that I have, whenever you go to the, through the checkout line, it's like they have like a lot of different products, uh, like travel size products, and um, I was pa as I was passing through, I wanted something, I don't really wear chapstick, um, but I was looking for something that was more of like a balm for the summer months. My lips get very chapped, especially, um, you know, just around the pool or whatever, and I got this, it's Smith's Rosebud South. And it comes in a little tin case like this, which I thought was super cute. And then I'm going to show you what it looks like. As you can tell, I've already used a lot of it. And it's just a really, I mean, it just goes on so wonderfully. And it just keeps your lips so nourished and um, very soft and smooth. Um, great product. Very excited about this product. You'll have to check it out. I think it was like 7 bucks. So whenever you're in Sephora and you see it, grab it because it's completely worth it. Love this product. Okay, um, another product that I found that I'm loving and I can't believe that I've spent so much on bronzers. Um, I'll actually regret saying this in a little bit whenever I bring up my favorite product. But um, this bronzer I do like very much. It's the Milani Baked Bronzer. And it is in Glow number 4. I'm going to show you this. It's just a really pretty. I hope you can see the gold flakes in it. Just a very pretty bronzer. And it actually comes with, not that I would ever use this little brush, but, I mean, possibly, but it comes with this little brush and a mirror. So, um, this is a really pretty bronzer, a really very natural bronzer, and I believe they had a little bit darker color. But I just really like this to just kind of dust over your face, um, maybe before you go to the beach with um, a tinted moisturizer. Maybe just highlight your cheeks a little bit, that way you don't have to do blush or that much makeup, but... I really like this product a lot. Okay, um, and then, since we're on the subject of tan, I found this. I'm so excited. I found this. You're not going to believe how much I paid for this. I can't even believe how much I paid for this. This is the Glow Fusion Micronutrient Nutrient Face and Body Natural Protein Tan Enhancing Emulsion. It looks like this. And it is a pump. And what I do is I do maybe three or four pumps and then I put some lotion in my hands also. Um, kind of mix it together and then I put that on my legs or my arms or wherever after I take a shower. And it is a, I'm going to read what it says to you on my phone. Um, hold on. Okay. It is a revolutionary new self-tanning technology that delivers your perfect shade of sun-kissed glow. The first ever clear, all-natural, fast-drying, odor-free self-tanning um, lotion. No odor, no streaking, no staining, no kidding. And they're not kidding. I've used this product. I didn't want to review this product and tell you to go purchase this product until I actually tried this product. And I really like it a lot. It has given me, it's almost... Not, I don't even know if I would call it a self tanner. It's, it is. I mean, it just gives your, it just brings out your natural color. Uh, I do like this. It's a great product, and I cannot believe where I found it. I found it at TJ Maxx. You really need to look through your TJ Maxx because if you have one or if you're available, if they're available around or wherever. Because I found this on Sephora, it is fifty eight dollars. I found this at TJ Maxx for fourteen ninety nine, and they had about seven boxes of them, and I bought two, and I'm thinking about going up going and snatching the rest of them. So I'm very, very, very excited about this product and um, it's a great product and I would recommend this to anyone. All right, then the next thing that I found and I actually found this at TJ Maxx also, I cannot believe it. They have all kind of moisturizers. I wouldn't suggest going anywhere. I mean, unless you have a certain type of moisturizer that you use or a night cream that you use or an eye cream. TJ Maxx really has some name brand I mean, just the same products as Sephora or Ulta or wherever, name, and they're a lot cheaper. So I got this. I wanted to try this Garnier Ultra Lift Pro Deep Wrinkle Roller. This is what it looks like, and then the top is twist off, and it, it just it kind of rolls. And what I do is after I put on my uh, moisturizer at night and my eye cream, then I just roll it on top of my forehead, 
and maybe just not around my eyes because I don't and then just the laugh lines right here I mean I know I'm only 26 years old and know that I'm not you know I'm not stressing about wrinkles by any means but I mean it's never too early to you know moisturize and prepare for deep wrinkles so it's not gonna be the end of the world whenever I get wrinkles but I don't want them to come too soon that's for sure all right now I get to tell you about my three most favorite products I'm so excited about these. I absolutely insist that you go buy these immediately. Okay, so we'll say my favorite for last. Okay, so I, in my last tutorial, I raved about the Lorac Baked Matte Br um, Blushes. They're Baked Matte Satin Blushes, and I have two shades. I got, I think I showed you Flaunt, which is this beautiful, very bright pink, marbled blush. It's a baked matte satin blush. Wonderful coverage, or wonderful, like, just the way it goes on. It's just got this sparkle to it. It's it's not, I don't know why it says matte, because it's not. I mean, there's some shimmer in it. It's more matte than anything, but there is a little bit of shimmer in it, and that's going to be that color. And then I'm going to put this one up. What I did is, it's so funny, I wanted the velvet rope, and I accidentally grabbed the flaunt. And I was like, oh, I'm going to have to take that back. It's going to be way too pink. Well, I tried it, and I loved it. It's a beautiful summer color. But this is the one I wanted. I wanted the velvet rope. And that's really, really pretty. And this one is definitely matte. But there is a little bit of shimmer in it. And that will be this one. I'm going to hold them up beside each other. I hope you can see that. But this one is definitely more pink. And this is more kind of a, a muted pink or a rose color very pretty. I don't know why they're, I think I said this in my last tutorial, but I've never seen anybody do a, a review on these or ever say anything about these and they are wonderful blushes. They're a little bit more expensive, but I mean, some of the blushes that, you know, these people are reviewing or doing tutorials on are extremely expensive. And I think these were anywhere from $25 to $26. So for the amount of product that you get, I mean, I've been using it for a month and I don't even think, I haven't even made a dent. So wonderful products. All right, I also broke down and bought the Anastasia um, Beauty Express for Brows and Eyes. And I got the kit in blonde. And I would really suggest blonde, possibly for anyone that didn't have, for everyone except for people that maybe had jet black hair. Because the blonde, I have really dark eyebrows, and the blonde, because I mean I'm naturally very dark headed. So the blonde really does a good job of coverage um, for my even my eyebrows. Okay, and I'm gonna show you what it looks like. It comes with it comes like this. I'm gonna put it back. I have I'm taking it all out. It comes looking like this, and I just kept this little case. And then you just pull this out, and so neat looking. Look how neat that is. And it says Anastasia Beverly Hills Beauty Express for brows and eyes. And then you open it up. And it's got a mirror and then it's got your wax and your brow fill in and then it's got your kind of like a highlight and then another color that I've never used but this highlight is very pretty I'm gonna show it to you it's very pretty to go underneath the brows I don't use it every day but I do like it a lot it's something that I could see myself using okay and then it's gonna come with this little brush right here and then I don't use this brush to fill in the brows because it's a little too pointy for me. But um, I do use it to put on the wax. So the idea is that you take one of these stencils. I'll show you these stencils if I can get it out. I always have a problem getting it out because I have no nails. All right, so it's going to come with it's going to come with five stencils. And you've got, they look like this, They're just like little stencils. And you've got a petite arch, a high arch, a slim high arch, a medium arch, and a full arch. And what you do, the basic idea is, I'm a high arch, so what the basic idea is is that you take this stencil and it has instructions and how you're supposed to line it up and you just kind of, you want to take it and line it up perfectly. and your eyes it explains all this I'm not going to use my whole May favorites video to explain but I mean it comes with instructions the basic idea is that you take the stencil you put it over your eyebrow and then you just fill in and I use I'm going to show you what kind of brush I use this is an elf 
a professional eyeliner brush and there's no way that I could use this as an eyeliner brush so I just took advantage of the dollar brush and it's a little bit thicker Let's see um, it's a little bit thicker brush and I just what I do is I'll dip my brush in you know these two shades I might even mix them sometimes and um, you just the idea is that you just fill it in and you want to keep this straight and lined up perfectly and it, it really does a very good job I've never really messed with anything for my eyebrows like stencils or anything I've always just used eyebrow pencils but I really like it it's definitely one of my favorites it's definitely something that I would recommend um, it just does a really good job and the actual idea is that once you fill in your brows with this um, powder or whatever you take a tweezers and um, plug away whatever is not in the stencil and I don't know if I would recommend that I don't really touch my own eyebrows I'll let someone else do them for me so I've messed them up way too many times but I would definitely recommend the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, eyebrow kit. Very good job. Alright, and now for my absolute favorite product. Sorry, the camera's shaking. I'm sorry. Anyway, okay, this is the Too Faced, the Bronze and the Beautiful French Riviera Edition. Go buy it right now, especially for summer. It is wonderful. Oh, my favorite. Okay, I'm going to show it to you. I just could just sit here all day. First of all, like a, all Too Faced products do, any kind of well, not all Too Faced products, but any um, palette comes with these um, little cards that are going to tell you um, classic bronze, glamour bronze, and lose, town in ten, lose 10 pounds in 10 seconds. And it's going to show you what certain products put where. It has a diagram and everything. Love that about it. I haven't actually used that, but I mean, I'm sure you can figure out where bronzer goes, but I need to do a tutorial on that, how to bronze, how to highlight and how to use bronzer but anyway it comes with it comes like this it's just a really pretty package it's the bronze and the beautiful it's like a 1950s lady out on the beach it's very cute okay and then it comes with this is going to be primed and poreless it's a skin smoothing face primer supercharged foundations bronzers and bare skin with a warm healthy glow and I'm going to tell you very quickly that I don't really like this because it's very orangey. So I haven't, this is the only thing I don't like about it. If you can see it. I mean, it's just so orange. Even whenever you spread it in, it's just, it's too much. Maybe I can find some way to use it, but I just don't really like it very much. But it is, I like the consistency of it. I just don't like that it's tinted. It's not like a tinted moisturizer. It's like a tinted primer, which I've never seen in weird but and I did try to use it one day so I'm not just not liking it um because I haven't used it and but I have used it and I don't like it okay but anyway everything else on this palette is wonderful here's the comes with chocolate soleil right here and this is the completely matte bronzer and then it comes with sun bunny which is like a very it's like two-toned light bronzer and then a dark bronzer and then it's going to come with like a light pink highlighter and a dark bronzer kind of like um what is that perfect 10 by benefits it kind of looks like that bronzing um and then my all-time favorite which is powdered sun this is going to be it's completely sparkly um kind of like a yellowish highlighter i mean it just doesn't do it justice but when you're out in the sun it is just the most beautiful thing I've gotten so many compliments on my skin since I've been using this and it was something that I absolutely had to tell you about and I want you to go out and buy it right now. I want you to go out and buy the Lorac blush and if you have a little bit of extra go buy that Anastasia brow kit but if you're in love with makeup the way that I am I have never been so happy about these two products the blush and the bronzer I've really been stuck on blush and bronzer for a little while especially bronzer I died Ever again. It, started like it died at the right time. I was just about finished. I was just rambling on and on. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my May favorite. Sorry it's so late. And um, thank you for watching. And please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you later.